Hello and welcome to Greg Tech School. My name is Miguk Namja. Today we're going to look at LV Era item automation along with a little bit of recommended power setup and how you how you integrate fluids, stuff like the cutting machine, the ore washer, um, mixer. So but but mainly it's going to be how how you do item automation because that's that's probably the challenge and that's and that's probably the most uh, interesting thing about automating a line of a line of machines all right uh so with that let's just take a brief look at the power setup so here for this demo i just have a simple four amp setup i'm using steam steam turbines uh for right for right here for this demo i'm just using an admin steam producer this could this will be your boiler should just imagine you have your you know boiler or a uh, tank full of full, full of steam and that's feeding into your steam machines here for this setup, I am using redstone alloy cable. That's something you can't get until after you have the EBF. It's pretty easy to get after you have the EBF, but you could just barely, uh, you could just as easily do this with uh, 10 cables. Uh, you'll just have a little more loss. You'll have a loss of one amp per, per length here. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right. So something that's probably, that's really easy to do, um, and if you have a bunch of these laying, laying around, maybe very early LV era, you might do hoppers. Um, the cool thing about, about hoppers, they are pretty cheap. They are just iron. Um, iron is pretty easy to get, and you can do a line of, of hoppers. So let's say, for instance, I want to have a single out, output chest. Um, whoops, yeah, steam. Steam hurts, uh, so I line up my hoppers like so. They feed into each other, so a line of hoppers, uh, and these these are going to pull from the machines, and they're all going to feed into that to that chest there. All right, um, for this demo. Let's just do some basic four chambers. Let's just line them up at the end. Why am I doing this? I'm going to show you a throughput test. There are different pros and pros and cons of the, the different item uh, in, input methods. All right. So for this, I don't have to, to, to do this because these are hoppers. In fact, I actually won't because these are going to pull. So let's just do a test here. All right, let's have these guys uh, turn cobblestone into gravel. All right, see my throughput there. You might not notice any problems here. Everything looks good, right? However, oh, there's, there's a slight play problem. Minecraft hoppers, have a, they uh, throughput, I think, what is it, like one item every second or, or so? It's not stack-based. It, it's, it's item-based. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're kind of getting stopped up there. In fact, it gets worse if you have different uh, types of items, right? So now I got my gravel, I got my sand, and things are kind of stopped up there. Yeah, eventually it will come out here, but this is going to take a while to clear because... That's also stopped up, and no, that one's clear, but that one is still stopped up. All right. So uh, this will certainly work. It's not a bad solution, but as soon as you're able to afford item pipes, I do recommend moving to those sooner rather than later. So that, let's go ahead and tear this down, and let's assume that we've been using hoppers, but now we've gone out, and let's say we found a cassiterite vein or a tin pane, or something that we can get tin from. All right, but it's not much. All we can afford are say 10 item pipes. These cost three 10 ingots each. So the stack of you know 12 here costs, costs 36 10. Not that expensive, right? All right, let's again line them up along the bottom. Let us get these ready to get connected. And Grab our again, our four chambers, set them up here. They all have power. Now, since we're, uh, these will not, the uh, item pipes will not pull unless you have conveyors, but the method I'm gonna show you does not require con conveyors. Instead, it uses the built-in item auto output feature. For every cool feature, I recommend that you use as soon as you can in LV era. All right, so these are connected. These are all gonna push down into the, the item pipes, and they're going to end up in this chest here. All right. So we did cobblestone. Now these are going to turn all the sand. Oops. I need to grab some of that, steal some of that. All right. So notice this is not a continuous stream. 
but it's kind of lumpy because these are stack based. Um, and notice we still have problems here, right? This is not able to quite keep up. But um, I think it is slightly faster on the whole. Uh, but it's still not the best. So, what is better? All right. Um, so, these regular 10 item pipes, they're going to be okay, but you're going to hit throughput uh, limitations to them as well. So, let me show you what you can do with uh, larger item pipes. So, let's say now you have more 10. Uh, you can certainly macerate these, these down, and you'll get all of your 10, 10 back. So, that's good. Um, and now you you have enough to upgrade the huge 10 item pipe. So now you're going from one stack every two seconds to four times that. Now you're at two stacks every second. Um, and let's see what happens here. Again, line these up. And put these guys down here. Now if I shift click on the item pipe itself, notice that it automatically connects. Cool, right? Nice. So therefore, we save a little bit on, on our dur 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 durability on our wrench. All right, and let's set these to item auto output. And since we already use sand, uh, let's go ahead and toss these. Let's grab some more uh, cobblestone. Caps lock. All right, and uh, let's see how these do. All right, let's look here. Notice, oops. Uh, what did I screw up? Is this guy connected? Yeah, why are these guys not outputting? Oh, because I didn't set them down. Right, there we go. All right, notice it's a little bit faster here. wasn't wasn't a good test because I kind of got got behind the curve there so let's actually start that over yeah toss these I don't need that all right let's do gravel to sand one two three another gravel and it looks like it's doing a little bit better job keep keeping up it's getting backed up a little a little bit but our throughput should be a little bit better. Still not great. Anyway, um, but yeah, even these are only uh, two stacks every se second. And it looks like this one is consuming it at the end. And I don't know why that happens. It kind of hangs there. <laughs> there we go. Um, so yeah, I finally, finally put them all through. All right, cool. So, um, now another really cool thing, um, another big reason, perhaps even bigger than the throughput. Um, let's say that your throughput is not, not really a problem. You only have one basic four chamber, everything else is relatively slow. Um, and throughput's not a problem. You may be tempted to stay with hoppers for a while. Uh, the reason I recommend going to the, to the item pipes is now you can have multiple outputs, right? So rather than just a single chest, now you can come along and do something like this. Let's say that I don't want um, all of my cobblestone clogging up my chest. So I want to output cobblestone here. And let's say that I don't want my sand clogging up my chest. So let's say I output sand here, right? Uh, let's go ahead and lock these here and get that set up. So let's say we have sand here. And let's say we have gravel coming into the other one. Um, oh, did I set the output here? Let's see. What did I do with my, I think I put that away. Anyway, did I set that up? Yeah, I set that up connect. Okay, cool. 
so that'll be gravel, that'll be sand. Um, now let's see, see what happens when we do cobblestone. Let's gravel to sand and cobblestone to gravel. Okay, let's do cobblestone to gravel here and gravel to sand here. Now look what happens. These go here. Awesome, right? Um, there is this one tiny problem that is going to come up here. All right, these these barrels happen to be closer to these output of the machines than the chests. So from our routing value, um, this is closer, so it's more preferred. But watch what happens when we do something like this. Now let's come over here. And let us make some gravel out of this. Now, is it going to go over here? All the way at the other end of these item pipes? Or is it going to go over here because it's closer? It's going to go over here because it's closer. So this is not doing what we want. We wanted to um, keep our chest from getting clogged with a lot of this high volume stuff. It could be gravel. It could be sand. It could be... Uh, could be crushed iron ore. It could be any number of things that maybe you don't you don't want clogging up your chest here. All right. So how do we fix this? So this is what the restrictive item item pipe is for, right? Uh, so we did huge ten item pipes. So let's say now now we have a huge restrictive ten item pipe. And the routing value of this is going to be a lot higher. See, routing value of this is uh, like like 1.6 million. Routing value of this is only uh, 16k. So the higher the routing value, the less preferred. The the farther away it is. All right. So let's slap that there. Did that connect? Yeah, that connected. And then let's put our chest here. And now watch what happens when we. Do the same test. Grab a stack of cobblestone. Let's throw in here. So even though this is physically closer, right? It's only uh, what two blocks away? One, two, or three, depending on how you, how you count. It's not going into here because we got this restricted uh, ten item pipe in between. Instead, it is going where we want it to go, which is in our gravel barrel. Um, so that is really really cool. Um, and the reason I like the barrels. Or let's say, for example, storage doors. Um, storage doors, they hold the same amount. They're very similar. Um, let's say we have a storage door instead of that. We could certainly do something like this. Where we have a storage door. And we do this. And we can demonstrate that it will indeed output into the storage door. In fact, it will output over here as opposed to the barrel because the storage door is closer. Notice that it is indeed going in there. The problem with these, um, you can't face these up. So you would, you would have to have something like this, which is not nearly, I don't think, not nearly as convenient. Doesn't doesn't look as nice as having a uh, barrel. So this is why I like, I like barrels in the setup. Um, and you can certainly go, you can put barrels down this whole line here, right? All right, uh, so that covers that on the output side. Um, now, what about on the input side? What's a good What's a good setup here? Um, well, really, you probably be probably better off with still with hoppers. Um, reason being, hop, hoppers are cheap. Um, hoppers, you can actually you don't even need a, a chest on top. You can you can output you can put stuff right right into the hoppers. Um, along with the along with the machine itself, um, for everything except pretty much the hammer, um, the hoppers are going to be able to keep up. They're going to be fast enough, even for the hammer. It looks like the hopper's fast enough. So throughput wise, hoppers fine. Um, you know, you can have hoppers pull pull from things. They can pull from barrels. They can pull from chests. Great, right? Nice and easy setup. All right. Um, if you don't like hoppers, um, another setup you could do, you could do 
conveyor modules. Um, so I'm going to put the conveyor module right on the machine. I'm going to set it to import into the machine. And did it get there? I did a shift right, right click. Uh, you can put anything on top. You can put a chest. You can put uh, a barrel. You can put a drawer. Um, I'm just going to put a barrel on top to keep it nice, nice and easy. And you do that. And it's going to pull it stockwise based on the speed of your conveyor module. Um, so that that that's probably that's a little bit cleaner, a little bit a little bit lower. Um, that's also a viable setup. But the problem with this, you can't reorder things. So um, again, I like the hoppers personally, because you can reorder things. Let's say you want to put something in front of something else. Maybe you want to have more than just one type. Um, yeah, then hoppers are really good. And I think that's it. I think I want to do another, another video showing um, how you integrate fluids with this. So for that, I think I'm going to call it in to this video. That's this fairly simple LV era item automation. And thanks for watching.